Our first guest on today's show is Superintendent of Jackson Public Schools, Jeff Beal. Jeff, welcome back. Hey, good to see you. Yeah, great to see you. And unlike uh, kids and uh, some teachers, Superintendent works year-round. Every day. Every day. <laughs> Every day. So yeah, absolutely. And it's been a busy summer, without question. Yeah, because uh, a lot of your work, uh, the bond work, you want to accomplish uh, when the kids are off the campus. Right? Well, and you know, there's two. There's there's summer work with regard to the bond um, and then there's year-round work obviously some construction takes longer than others um, we've got uh, our early adopter furniture all came in 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 the month of July um, and that's uh, about 45 classrooms that have gone out oh, wow. um, and that's all installed and then uh, new technology much more mobile friendly um, technology that allow the teachers to to move around the classroom and cast up onto the screen and be able to interact in a different way with their students, be able to, to put their students' work up on the screen. Um, that's all live and installed. I know teachers were doing uh, professional development on that today. That was about 90 classrooms. Um, and really just the first wave. Uh, you know, we know we've got um, 125 classrooms we'll be doing next year and then another 125 classrooms a year after that. Uh, so there's a lot of work when it comes to, to those types of things. And, and that doesn't even scratch the, 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 the surface of our building, you know, our construction. Yeah, well, luckily uh, you brought along some uh, great photos of uh, construction projects. So let's go uh, through those. We'll start at Cascades, where we uh, just a few weeks ago attended the, the groundbreaking. Yeah. And at uh, Cascades. What a, what a fun event it was. And it's um, the, uh, obviously the first time we've been able to break ground uh, on a new construction in Jackson and JPS since 1969. Uh, so, That's so amazing. 50 years in the making. And um, 50 years. Last time uh, we had people, uh, the people when we landed on the moon in Woodstock <laughs> and uh, the Smothers and Brothers. And Northeast <laughs> Elementary School. <laughs> um, so yeah, but the, this is uh, Cascades. Um, and there's been a lot of work uh, taking place at Cascades. Obviously we bid that out last spring. Uh, we came in better than budget, so that's always a good feeling. Um, and they have been working all summer on that. They've got footings poured uh, out at Cascades as well. And I think we're looking at a completion time of April 2021. So it's uh, about a year and a half uh, construction project. So Also, uh, Northeast Elementary, there's uh, renovations underway. Oh, Northeast wow. has been, oh my gosh, it's, it's been cruising. Um, that project is a, is a summer project and, a, and then a, some project will take place in the winter uh, or in the school year as we get started. So uh, this area here that you're seeing is the new offices and safe and secure entry. I remember part of the bond, of the, the headline of the bond is how can we create safe and secure entryways. Uh, so this is actually new. Uh, it's not new construction. This was the locker room for the uh, old pool. Now keep in mind that back in the 60s when we had you know multiple middle schools they all had pools in them mm -hmm. uh, so that pool was decommissioned years and years ago and and obviously you see a lot of the the work going in here uh, at northeast the offices will be ready to open up sometime in october and then uh, they should be wrapping up the process there uh, sometime in uh, in between Thanksgiving and Christmas. Oh wow! So um, the Northeast will be all done. Yeah, right? Northeast will be um, parking lot. Uh, is what you got here will probably be next spring. Uh, there's uh, some work that we want to do in the back parking lot, and not enough time to actually uh, truly get that accomplished before students show up uh, in the summer. So that will again be a summer project uh, that we'll return to. Uh, but rather than than try to punt something through and and really not be ready to go um, we're gonna we'll, we'll ride on the parking lot one more time another uh, parking lot that's a big part of the project is the jay parking lot yep here and hey so, that's us right is. there reynolds hall um, so we are doing work at jackson high on the east end of the parking lot uh, on the east end of the building we have um, a new parking lot a bus loop some additional staff parking and then obviously uh, the the roundabout in the loop right here around Jackson High. You will no longer be able to travel from Wildwood through our parking lot and, and, and exit out onto Stewart. Um, so uh, what we're gonna do is we, because the, the aquatic center will go in the west parking lot, it literally will sit in the west parking lot, uh, we'll lose about 45 student spaces over there when construction begins. And um, 
And so what we've done is we've added about 90 student spaces on the east end. We've added about a dozen teacher parking spaces or, or staff parking spaces. Uh, we've added to the, uh, the visitors parking spaces on this side. So uh, um, trying to accommodate you know, the traffic and travel in and around uh, Jackson High School. Is your plan then to have this uh this be the main entrance to the high school? No, nope, this right here is actually only for student pickup, drop off, and, okay. and busing. It really is. It, it is just uh, just for that. The west side of the building will be where the safe and secure entry is and the main entrance. There you have it. That's wow. the. Uh, this is the actually the athletic entrance. This is um, if you were standing in the parking lot. This is north end of the parking lot facing the football field. So if we were to turn around from that location or this location, if we were to look to our left, we would see the football field and then up those row of windows on the right uh, would be towards Wildwood, kind of orient yourself. And this is the new aquatic center as it goes in. Uh, you can see the new safe and secure offices, uh, that orange sitting there in the middle. Uh, that will be the, the entryway um, and security vestibule that will provide for athletics and and um, and then student uh, parent visitor locations. Sweet. Right there on that end. Uh, this is some of the aquatic center kind of work up. So this is again, if you're standing in that athletic lobby, and you can take the elevator up or down um, to the seating or to the locker room, um, to the restrooms, to the concessions, um, and then this ramp on the left here goes down to the gymnasium which is our current field house. So, so right now that, that field house door that is on, the, on that west wall is included in, in this construction project. Absolutely, uh, it'll be a gorgeous facility when yeah. it's all said and done. It's great, all those windows. Mm -hmm. This is the office space. And so again, if you're standing here, we've got lots of, uh, lots of conference room space. We've got a safe and secure vestibule and entryway. And then those orange doors there, that is the existing high school, and that will take you to the, to the west stair that'll really give you access. But in the new kind of new way we're gonna approach things is rather than have a parent wander around a 450,000 square foot building, all of our work will be done here in the offices. So parents who come to the building will check in at the office and work here at the office. And then if they're there to see a grade level principal, uh, they'll work in a conference room and we'll have that principal come to them um, so that we, we keep all of our activity or as much of our activity right here uh, at the offices as possible. Great. Um, yeah. Uh, the new aquatic center is going to be state of the art. Uh, this is a eight lane pool. These are what I'm being told are speed lanes. They're about nine and a half feet wide. Uh, you see the red movable bulkhead in this. This is, allows the, the, the bulkhead to move back and forth. Uh, diving will take place in this uh, location as opposed to right now, you can't dive in the Jackson High School pool. No. Um, so, so diving will take place. There are also set up for um, 14 lanes that run uh, across the pool. So we could do practice for both swimming and diving at the same time. Um, there's seating for, for 500 uh, in the location, um, new, uh, new locker rooms for boys, girls, and then a community locker room um, that's set up for uh, really anybody to be able to use during the day um, or, or, or during the night during community service. Uh, and those are individual kind of locker, shower, bathroom stalls, and then a community locker bay. So you'll, you'll go in and you can go into your individual uh, room to, to have your changing space and your shower and bathroom and then when you exit your stuff will then go into a community locker uh, bay so so some good work for for us to be able to to bring in more community partners that way yeah the design looks great Jeff I was worried you know the pool just not being you know tacked on to the existing building it really blends in with everything. well it's and, and this is the, all the things you learn in construction, right? So, um, so it's a, it has to do with the firewall and the, the construction code. So it's, it is truly a separate building that literally nests right up next to, if you will, and, and really only punches through that firewall at certain locations. Um, so it is a, uh, an addition in every sense of the, of the word. You brought uh, some pictures of some of the earlier doctor's uh, furniture you mentioned earlier yeah 
75, uh, is it 75 classrooms getting um, So there are uh, 45 classrooms with new furniture. And the reason that we went with 45 is again, this is, this is really to inform our purchasing. So we, we know we've got 125 next summer and another 125 after that. And so we want to purchase uh, a small amount so we can, we can make sure we know what we need. Mm -hmm. uh, we can check what's being used, what do we like, what are the students um, using, what wears and tears so that next summer we can order 125 and know that we're getting the right product and the right amount. Um, and then if we need extra bookcases or extra file cabinets or whatever it is, then we'll backfill the first 45 with the second order. But it's really a, a very designed intentionally to how do we, how do we build this classroom out so that, so that uh, it's really set to go. And, and before long, we'll have 300 of these classrooms up and running within JPS, and so um, you know we want to make certain that we're very methodical about about how we do this. Very intentional. Looks sharp. Yeah, it's a, it allows our so, so you've got a lot of mobility here. The 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 desks all move and stack, and you obviously have different seating heights and and different seating uh, materials. Uh, it's again designed to get the teacher up and moving and not stationary, not not hanging out at one location. I'm not trying to do the sage on the stage kind of teaching anymore where we stand and deliver. We really want to get out and foster that that growth and that learning um, with our with our students really be facilitators. You mentioned earlier uh, had some bids come in under budget but you've got two things working in your favor. You've, you've gotten some uh, very favorable bids but you're getting better interest rates on the bond. We're doing pretty well on that right now. And there's some uh, financial update on our website. So if you check out JPS website, there's a bond update there. And um, there's lots of videos, but there's also a financial transparency page that shows kind of the allowance and the amount spent per project and, and what each project looks like, and as well as a timeline of completion. Um, but we are doing pretty well on the interest the, um, from the money invested, and uh, that's coming in better than, uh, than we projected, too. So mm -hmm. all of these, the, the, the ingredients, if you will, are adding up to a successful project. Um, you know, there's still a lot of work to be done, and we'll know a lot more here. A year from now, I'd like to be able to tell the same story, um, you know, that, that, that everything is under budget and on time, and that's, that's really the goal. That's been, been kind of the driver. Um, that, that we've had and I we're going to have the aquatic center that whole high school will go out to bid um, uh, really the end of this month the beginning of next and we hope to award those bids by October and then you'll see construction really really take off at the high school in uh, in November uh, December and that's uh, again an 18 month build and that will that'll be complete the aquatic center uh, portion of the high school will be complete in uh, spring of 2021 um, and then, of course, we come back to the high school in phase three and, and really uh, work on the inside. And so there's a lot more to do uh, with regard to that as well. Yeah. Uh, Plus, we've got uh, Lincoln, Dibble, Parkside. We've, we've met, I've, I've got the blueprints all on my computer right now. It's, in, it's, it's crazy insane as, as every week they, you know, they keep. And it's not just, you know, it's, it's, it's not just entrances and exits and doors and all the other stuff. It's. You know, it's everything you could imagine with building a house. It's where do the electrical outlets go and where do you need data lines and where do you need cameras and where do you need, it's, it's a lot of fun. There is, mm -hmm. there is simply um, a, a monumental task and we have got user groups set up for each, each piece. And so uh, Dibble has met and there will be six new classrooms at Dibble. Uh, when we are done, we're replacing two portables there. Uh, that should have come out a long time ago and and um, so that's going to happen uh, as well as a new safe and secure entryway at Dibble. Um, Hunt, I've got the the blueprints on my desk there again some some changing uh, some flipping the uh, offices to the media center and the media center to the offices and uh, but we're getting close on Hunt um, and Lincoln has met a number of times and we are very close on Lincoln. I think right now the blueprints I have are are at the 50% stage, which means they've got the, the prints all done and, and they're sending it off to be costed out so, uh, so, so that I, and we do this periodic check to make sure that everything is on budget or close to budget and where we're over, we, we have to trim it and where we're not, we, uh, we have to, to really continue every day to keep the project on budget. Um, 
And so Lincoln should be ramping up, and those three will go out to bid here, my guess is, by Christmas time, January. So coming to a theater near you soon. All right. And if you missed anything or want more, there's a lot more at jpsk12.org and also on the uh, district social media accounts. Nice to see you. Nice and to see you too. I think the next time you'll be here, we'll be talking about back to school. Hey, we should can get 30 seconds on back to school because yeah. Hunt starts next week. Our balanced That's calendar true, school yeah. starts. Um, and, and it's really our most sought after elementary school. Uh, you know, we don't cascades open yet, but it is uh, that balanced calendar is a great thing. And uh, Mary Jo uh, Raskowski Shannon, the principal out there, uh, her and her staff do some great work. Um, we are doing kindergarten camp. And so for parents who have kindergartners, there's a back to school kindergarten camp uh, and people can always come in and enroll. Please, we got we got space for you. We'll, we'll, we certainly would love to see you and talk to you about what we've got to offer at Jackson Public Schools. Sounds great. The superintendent of Jackson Public Schools, Jeff Beal. Next on